The border is closed. Uh, we are expelling uh, single adults and families under the Title 42 authority that rests with uh, the Center for Disease Control. We decided as an administration in furtherance of the President's direction to administer our immigration laws of this country in an orderly and safe and humane way that we will not expel unaccompanied children. Oh wait, that, 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 that wasn't SNL? I, th I thought I was watching SNL. That was Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas doubling down on a lie saying the U.S. southern border is closed. Joining me now to discuss Joe Biden's border crises spiraling out of control is former uh, CBP Acting Commissioner and Newsmax contributor Mark Morgan. Also with us is President and Founder of All Things Possible Ministries and a former U.S. Marine. Victor Marks. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Glad you can make it here, both of you. Mark, Secretary Mayorkas still says the border is closed. Now, you've seen the latest numbers showing that border apprehensions hit a new high for the month of April. Biden's crises are getting nothing but worse, right? Hey, Chris, that's absolutely right. The borders are closed. Tell that to the 178,000 immigrants that tried to illegally enter the, uh, the country just last month, plus the 30,000 plus Godaways. Tell that to them that the border closed. Look, the, everything that, that Secretary Mayorkas just said is an absolute lie. He is lying to the American people. And let me, instead of just, just rhetoric, let me back it up with facts. Right now, when he says the borders are closed, and, and he's talking about he's removing, under the CDC Title 42, he's removing families. That's a lie. Right now, anywhere between 70 to 80 percent of the families that are coming across our border illegally are being released into the interior United States. In the first 120 days alone, over 65,000 family members have been released into the interior United States. This fiscal year alone, the unaccompanied minors have been over 65,000 that we've released into the interior United States. That's over 125,000. Yeah in the Godaways, you're looking at anywhere of almost 400, 300,000, 300,000 people that have gotten past and or been released in this country. So to say our borders are closed, not as a lie, a lie, it's absurd. And it, it, Chris, here's the thing. He knows it. He knows it. Instead of being the secretary defending our homeland security, he's being nothing but a politician and this administration's pawn. Yeah, propagandist, actually. Uh, Victor, here's the video that you actually took down there at the border when you went down there. Uh, it's it's, it's eye-opening footage. And, and you add to your video on what you experienced, a Texas rancher just found five little girls under the age of six abandoned by these cartels. They were sleeping in the dirt. They were dehydrated. Uh, couple this incident that I just told you about with what you saw and give us your evaluation of the border. You know, our organization is coming at this situation from a uh, humanitarian standpoint. We've done work in the Middle East and now here on the border. It's beyond what anybody can imagine. And I would first say this, that the migrants themselves are not the ones where anger should be uh, put on. It is, it is a cartel-created crisis along with horrible policy coming from the current administration. That will help stop this nonsense if those two things are corrected. And I would love to see the Mexican cartels uh, be designated as terrorist organizations so that funding and um, uh, the right assets could be used to what we would call hurt their feelings. But I'll tell you, it's heartbreaking. And, and again, we're, we're coming from the position of being the first point of contact when these kids or women cross over. And uh, it would be equivalent to someone watching right now that your daughter or niece, a couple of girls would cross from California to say New York by themselves. There is no yeah. protection. They are getting abused. And uh, it's a very sad situation. And it, again, because of bad policies, it's an invitation for them to come. But again, we have to help well, those in need. But we get we got to secure those borders. They are not secure at all. Yeah, Biden, Biden will never declare the drug cartels terrorist organizations because they are, they are enabling, they're facilitating his policy, which, is, which makes this whole thing so sick to me, Mark, that, that to, to make Biden's open border pro-illegal immigration policies happen, he needs a functioning and vibrant uh, narco-terrorist network, which, by the way, they're getting filthy rich off of Biden or whoever's running Biden's administration and these policies. Am I wrong? 
No, you're, you're right. First of all, Victor, I want to say simplify. And what Victor just said is absolutely right. Look, right now, because of the policies, our country, in my opinion, we're actually complicit and completing the human smuggling and human trafficking yep. chain uh, into this country. We are, we are complicit. And the, we've been saying this for a while. The ultimate victors, the ultimate winner, winners here are the cartels. On the human smuggling and alone, right now, because of change in this administration policies, this, uh, the cartels are looking to get three, four more billion dollars right now this year because of this administration policies. They're the ultimate winners. And here's, real quick, here's another dirty little secret they're not telling you. And again, the Secretary Marcus lied to him. Hypocrisy. He says that that the only humane thing is to let the UACs in, which of course we know is encouraging more inhumanity as they make the dangerous trek. But here's the thing: if you're an unaccompanied minor from Mexico, they're still sending them back. So how about the hypocrisy there? But a lie on top of hypocrisy. Good grief. Mark, Victor, thank you guys. Just plumb out of time. We'll talk again. Thank you very much for the time.